Hi, my name is Christian Davis and I'm a student at North Carolina A&T State University. And today I'll be talking to you about a modern day phenomenon. So I decided to do my action project on interracial dating because in the past it has been frowned upon and somewhat taboo. But in today's America, we see that things have changed and it's a good change. It's a change for the better. When thinking about this phenomenon, there are two distinct disciplines that come to mind. And those distinct disciplines, they actually work together in regard to understanding interracial relationships. And those particular disciplines are political science and psychology. The reason is because political science is, it's the nature and practice of systems of government and individuals and groups uh, pursuing power within those systems. And when you think about psychology, it's the nature of human behavior, as well as the internal and external factors that affect human behavior. So I had the pleasure of interviewing one of my friends, Ashley Graham, and she's actually a mental health therapist here in Charlotte, North Carolina. So I decided to meet up with Ashley uh, March 15th uh, she didn't have as many clients today, so today was actually a good day. So I'm here with Ashley Graham. Say hey, Ashley. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm here, um, just wanted to talk to you about interracial dating today and yeah. how it affects your life and, you know, your livelihood and basically um, how we can make some changes in society. So uh, my first question for you is how long have you been dating interracially? Well, let's see. So pretty much, I mean, I guess pretty much my whole life, I've, I've, I've only ever kind of dated one white person, I guess. Um, and so, it, you know, I've, I've dated in, in different races, um, talked to different races. Uh, my husband is black. Okay. Um, so I'm married <laughs> to a black man. Um, but as far as, you know, my past, I, it, it, there's never really, there hasn't ever really been a predominant um you know, ethnicity, I guess. Do you know how the other races feel with you mm -hmm. being a white woman with them? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's definitely hard. You know, you get looks, you get stares. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times, sometimes it, it feels almost, it, it feels judgmental. Mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of like the, they don't like the fact that a white woman is with a black man. So would you say you're pretty knowledgeable about the Emmett Till case and what happened to him and how one day they say this young black kid whistled at a white woman and then brutally mutilated. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel to know that things like that happen and, you know, we kind of find it okay to date our side of race? How does that make you feel? I mean, it's horrible what happened to him. I, I, I don't see anybody who could ever be okay with that. Um, it, it's just wrong on so many parts and, and just the fact that things happen like that to, um, black men and women every day and it's still happening and it's an issue and it's, you know, something that needs to be addressed. Um, and you know, I mean, it's racism at its finest and, yeah. you know, I That's would never true. condone anything like that. And I, you know, it's difficult, it's difficult to understand how people, um, think that that's okay. Mm -hmm. So with your own perspective, um, what do you think could be changed about, I guess, the way we view interracial dating and the tabooness that's actually behind it? Mm -hmm. Like what, what could we change as a society and a culture? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, just the taboo in itself, you know, I mean, um, I, I think it starts with individuals and the ways, way that they, you know, raise their families and teach their children and, and allow their children to, to make their own decisions, being open um, with them and, and understanding that, you know, every culture is different, but it doesn't mean that one is better than the other. Um, and I think it really starts at the root and, and being able to, to kind of address people. Um, you know, I, I honestly feel, you know, racism really is a mental health issue. Um, and so, you know, we really need to, to address it in that way. Mm -hmm. 
Definitely makes sense. Well, it's definitely been a pleasure as well. Yeah, thank you, Christian, so much. So, I'm so glad. Nice meeting you. Hopefully, I was helpful. Of hopefully, course. I was able yeah, to help so, you out. Definitely appreciate it. Um, hopefully, you help open somebody's eyes. And yeah. this is my action project.